Uh, this is for Mr. Makowski. Uh, as Mr. Mushow said, in GAO's testimony, it was stated there are no detailed system-wide VHA policies on how to handle patient no-shows and cancellations. Uh, are you aware of any uh, department-wide policy for cancellations? Uh, Mr. Mikowski. We do actually have, in our directive, we do actually have policies for managing uh, no-shows and cancellations. And we also have a policy that is supposed to guide our, our staff on how to manage veteran appointments and communicate with veterans and their families to minimize the chance. Well, of describe that policy briefly. I don't have a lot of time, but. Okay, so for instance, uh, if we have a veteran uh, who has once uh, not shown up for an appointment before or has repeatedly not shown up for an appointment before, we have a no-show uh, list that allows us to contact veterans and that's actually part of our policy. And sites are supposed to be implementing it. We need to do a better job of training following up and ensuring that that practice is performed. Well, I agree with that. Uh, I hear about the long wait times. I just, I had a town meeting last week, but I meet with veterans frequently. Uh, three hour town meeting and one of the complaints, of course, are the wait times. Everybody knows about that. Uh, missed appointments, for example, uh, the veteran gets the appointment finally and uh, maybe through no fault of their own. Uh, they can't make the appointment, maybe an illness or maybe somebody just forgot, and then they have to wait another two months, for example, for an appointment. Uh, let me ask you this question, I mean, because that's a huge problem. Is there any input? I mean, I hear about the lack of communication between, uh, between let's say, the schedulers. You can call over and over and over again. Does the veteran have impu an input on, on when that appointment might be? Uh, you know, for example, they could have a conflict. Uh, right. A family conflict, what, medical conflict, what have you. Uh, could I answer that? Yeah, because that was an issue with the, the case that you cited. It is, yeah, and, and part of the problem is, and I wanted to elaborate a little bit more on the, on the no-shows, I mean, part of the issue is that VA needs to better understand why the no-shows and cancellations are happening, and part of it is, as we found in our wait times work, that some schedules, a pretty good percentage of schedulers are engaged in what, what is termed uh, blind scheduling. So they schedule appointments without being in contact with the veteran. The veteran receives the appointment through the mail, and sometimes it may not be convenient, or it could be that the appointment was the letter was received after the appointment actually was scheduled. And then we also see that um, you know, sometimes the VA contact information is bad, so the, the veteran may never receive that, um, that, uh, that appointment notice. So, there's a lot of factors that go into the no-show and cancellations, but that is, that is a part of uh, um, one of the factors that also affects that. Have you ever asked the question uh, of the veteran, how would he or she prefer to get this information with regard to appointments? We, we need to improve the ways that veterans can see their appointments, manage their appointments, and frankly ask for appointments. Uh, we need to make that an integral part of our online uh, system for My Healthy Vet. We do have a patient self-scheduling application, which we are trying to roll into a state of production. But frankly, it just starts with the phones. You know, pick up the phone, call repeatedly, and talk to a veteran and find out their preference, and then schedule. Thank you. And, and again, the, the My Healthy Vets, is, it's, a, it's a great thing to have, but uh, again, that should be in addition to the personal contact. And of course, a lot of, uh, lot, some people don't have access to a computer either. So uh, let me ask you one more question. I know I don't have a lot of time. Again, with regard to the, uh, to the wait list. Uh, in the hearing uh, this committee held on, on May 28th, uh, 2014, members of this uh, committee repeatedly, and I know I asked, uh, who authorized the destruction of the interim electronic wait list. However, Dr. Lynch ma maintained that it was protocol for when the appointments were canceled. If there is no department-wide process for no-shows or cancellation, now you stated there is, uh, but what was he referring to? I don't know specifically. I've not been on the ground in Phoenix myself. Uh, I do know that one of the things they were working on was to try to move appointments sooner. And what they may have been doing, which he referenced, I believe, in his comments, was printing, rescheduling, and then shredding the evidence because it contains uh, personally identifiable information. Um, I think that's what he referenced, sir. All right. 
uh, we'll continue to ask the questions. Thank you very much, and I yield back. Thank you, Mr.